Hello everybody, this is Schneekies the Lost, and welcome back to Schneekies Let's Play Stardew Valley Season 2, Episode 5. Now, today it is raining, which means I don't have to water my crops, and I have absolutely zero use for a well, one of the least useful buildings in the entire game, and then promptly tries to pitch a sail at me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there really needs to be something done. Maybe, maybe some modder will find a better use for those wells, because as it stands, completely pointless. Completely and totally pointless. Uh, at least on, on this, I mean, the only map that I'm familiar with that might be able to use it is the uh, the mining map the um, um, you know, the one with all the hills and the geodes and and that the basically the the mini quarry uh, only problem with that is it's got the uh, the farming size of a postage stamp uh, not not too terribly conducive here so uh, we're going to have a hope pickaxe and a spring onions and we will be getting our sward when we get out there we will be doing mining instead of fishing because number one it's a little bit more uh, exciting a little bit uh, better footage um, sitting there and dropping a lure into a river over and over again is is not my idea of entertaining video unfortunately um, and we really do need to focus right now on progression we need a metric ton of copper we're talking hundreds of copper or um, we're gonna need to do that so let's do it to it now then these things the ones that take two hits with a regular pickaxe instead of one hit, they are guaranteed to drop stone and will actually work to give a small amount of mining XP. Pretty cute, huh? Unfortunately, this newbie sword kind of sucks. Well, there's no kind of about it. It, it sucks. Um... There we go. But, uh, we're going to be mostly just, you know, looking to descend as fast as we can. Uh, if we can manage to pick up some copper and other resources along the way, great. But my primary concern is descending. I've got to get down to iron by the end of the month. If I can get five levels, that would be great. If I can make a 10 level dive, that would be fantastic. I'm not going to expect or depend on it. Um, that's gonna depend really on a lot of factors that many of which are gonna be out of my control, really. So, yeah. I mean, if I can, great, but I'm not gonna, like, expect it to happen or depend on it to happen. I really need a better weapon. There we go. Okay, let's at least get that stuff. Oh, hey, cool. We got a gemstone that I don't think we found before. Uh, let's go ahead and kill these guys. This must be a fairly bad luck day uh, for so many monsters to be spawning so early in. Aha! Somebody's got a, no got a toy. Regardless of what it is, it's going to be useful to me, even if it's a stupid, gimpy weapon. Aha! Uh -huh. Stupid, gimpy armor. I'll take that. In fact, I'll go ahead and eat this algae because, well, you know, free energy and health. Uh... One defense. I'm actually good with that. 
And we'll go ahead and grab that. That. Uh, heal him. This would be a great place for a bomb just to clear out a bunch of crap. But ultimately not really all that necessary. So, let us continue descending. We do need the copper. Hey, five more copper. Ooh, hey, we've got some more ores over there, too. Yes, I'm killing them deliberately. I need their um, chance of dropping a ladder to descend. It's less endurance than having to dig through a bunch of stuff. You notice I didn't finish that last one to be able to shield me from his attack. That's just one of those things that you figure out as you do diving enough times. It's a, a, a few basic tactics. Urf. Um, yeah, let's just make sure there's no easy low-hanging fruit copper around. Does not look it. Ow. That was stupid of me. That, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, level 5. It's only 1.30 in the afternoon. I've got stuff. Let's, uh, let's try and push to 10. Uh, we can always go, yeah, no, if we want to. You know, we can, we can always, uh, always bail at any time. We don't have to continue progressing. So, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Or as I believe uh, a rather intelligent fellow said, he who will not risk cannot win. He was talking about military ventures at the time, but it's still a, an interesting piece of wisdom. I do not like how easily your character can get turned around on this combat system, though. Ah! So, we've got five levels under our belt. We're going for ten. It's only three o'clock. We can still do this. And yes, I am specifically focusing on the ones that take two hits to, to, to go instead of one. Which, yes, is going to hurt. I have no need of slime. Uh, hurt my endurance. But ultimately, it will work my um, mining skill up a little bit. And... Uh, let's get rid of the bug meat. I really have no... I mean, it has a use. It actually does. But it is not a use I have an interest in at this time. It will make bait. But since I don't have a fishing rod that can handle bait, and I don't really have a focus on fishing for this playthrough, yeah. Alright, 15 copper ore. That's almost but not quite going to be enough for, you know, your, your basic entry-level furnace. Um... So, even if I don't make it to 10, having gone down this far is still going to be useful to me. That's 18 copper. I only need two more. And the fact that I was able to get the um, crab off of that one guy is really good. Because that's one that I'm going to need. Ooh, that is coal. Hmm. Let's go ahead and drop the sap. We can get sap elsewhere. There we go. 19. 5.20 in the afternoon. Um, you always do want to kind of keep an eye on your clock. You don't want it to run out down here. And there's my 20 copper for my very first furnace. That is cool. Right now, I'm just looking for an exit. And getting 
rid of this guy before he becomes a pain in the patootie. So. I do like the music down here, too. It's really nice. It's got a, you know, drum beat to it, like you'd expect. And uh, once we get a copper pickaxe, these things go in one hit. It'll go a lot faster. Um, I'll probably actually be doing a lot of grinding between 30 and 40. And that is a Dougie. And that is a root. Um, a winter root. No, that is a yam. Oh, I didn't know they could drop yams. I will take that because that's one less thing I will have to grow in the fall. Not shabby. Now we're starting to get exhausted. It is level 8, We st and it's only 7.20 in the afternoon, or in the evening, rather. Uh... I'm going to keep pushing, seeing if I can't find it. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh, there's a geode. Ah. Eh. Eh, I'm going to have to pass up on the geode. Just occasionally. Boots. One immunity. Costs 100. Really can't afford it. Sorry, I'd rather have a defense and an immunity, personally. That's just my, my play style. There is nine. We need to find one more, and then we're going to call it, and we're going to have successfully dived. But not going to count our chickens before they're hatched. We could still end up not progressing. So... Whoa, almost. That is a cave carrot. And that is a cherry bomb. So, you want to know what a cherry bomb does? I will show you what a cherry bomb does. What a cherry bomb does... Let me find a good place for it here. Um, not too many really good places on this level. Ah, here we go. Right there. Big bada bing, bada boom. And, uh, again. Okay, where did that coal go? Hmm. Oh well. I lost a piece of coal. Big deal. But that's that's what explosives does. Um, 940. I am starting to get into trouble here. And I'm starting to get exhausted. Uh, not out of the question yet. I can still do this. But now it started yet yeah, 10 o'clock. Ah, uh, there it is. Done. And that is plus one on both. So I will take that. Um, just pitch those, grab that, and we're going to call it there. I'm going to call that a very successful mining trip. 28 copper ore. I got an amethyst. I got two topaz. I got some quartz. A geode. A yam. Which is going to be interesting. A crab. 100 stone, which is going to be useful later. A lot of useful stuff I got. And who knows, that geode might turn out to be more valuable than a piece of coal. Who knows? <clears throat> so tomorrow, Clint should show up and go, hey, cool. So...
So. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. I need to grab my uh, watering can then. It is 11 o'clock. Okay, tomorrow is when all of my parsnips are going to come up too. That's going to be fun. Also, if you look at my experience bar, look at how close I am to mining level 2 and combat level 1. I almost but not quite made it. That's why I like that particular mod. It, again, it gives you a, a visual representation of how close you are to your next levels. <clears throat> so, here we go. It is Wednesday. The Queen of Sauce rerun will teach me the same cool slot. Try to teach me on Sunday. Hello, Clint. Yep, I've got some ore. You're gonna give me the recipe to make a furnace, which is 20 copper ore and 25 stone. Yeah. Slay 10 slime. I think I did that yesterday. You jerk. So, you guys, you guys, and you guys, and some of you guys. So, here's what we're gonna do. Remember, we've got that farm automation mod. Uh, we're going to kinda take advantage of that. Um, so we're gonna put that right there. We're gonna make a furnace. And then we are gonna go bang and bang. Well, you know what, bing bang. Let's let's just go ahead and do that for now. Put the remaining copper ore and coal in here. Now then. A moment of truth. Ooh. That was useful. Okay, so we've got all our parsnips. Will we get five gold parsnips? Survey says... Three... No! Bum, bum, ba, bum, Nuts. Rats. And all that kind of stuff. Put up those parsnips. We're gonna need to buy 40 more parsnips. Unfortunately. Which means we might as well water it because we're going to plant them anyway. Oh well. This will put things back a little bit more than I had anticipated than I had hoped, but I can I can work with this. It's just inconvenient as I'll get out. Uh, when my potatoes come up, I'm definitely only going to be doing 40 instead of 80 of them. Or 60. Dap. I'll also be doing, hopefully, uh, 40 strawberries. So, we will... We will see. So, these potatoes, if we hit F1... Harvest after six day. Harvesting tomorrow. That's another thing item lookup locator does. Um, or, or look up anywhere. Excuse me. Um, look up anywhere does that. So it's going to tell me I'm going to be harvesting these tomorrow. Which I kind of knew. But it, it's good to have that confirmation. And then we will have to buy more parts.
parsnips. Yeah, it's not worth making another of those regular fertilizers just to do that. Honestly, three gold parsnips was kind of a low ball there. Not entirely happy about that. We do now have farming level two. Whoops, almost. <laughs> Oops. But I got it. So, yeah. Now let's go buy some more parsnips. Frosso, 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 frosso. Ooh, what is that? Clay. Okay, I guess. Uh, clay, not as useful anymore. Used to be really useful because it was needed for kegs. But when he fixed the exploit, um, where, you know, you find a clay, you dig up, you get another clay. Oh, nuts. That sucks. Okay. Heh <laughs> heh. Eh. Eh. Oops, I'm out of inventory space. Okay, well, you know. We'll have to buy it tomorrow. Hopefully not too many of them will go away. Sell the parsnips. Uh, Leah and Penny both like dandelions. But... Let's, let's just go ahead and pitch it. Yeah, that look up anywhere mod is just so, so used as you go, hey, what's this? And it'll tell you. There, daffodil. Uh, Haley's birthday is coming up right after. I do want to try and catch her with a gift that she likes on her birthday to get that uh, friendship boost going. Because remember, we're being kind of a, a Mac Daddy here. There. However, we do have 13 acorn seeds. We're getting a lot closer to what we need. Um, 14. Okay. It is also Vincent's birthday, not that I really care, because, well, um, yeah. I'm, I'm focusing on the, the dateable characters, and, ew. So. Just kind of sliding on through. Whoa, hello. Piece of coal. I will take that. Eh. Uh, we're trying to see if I could get any more acorns. Let's just go ahead and get those two out of the way here. So, uh, let's go foraging. It is Wednesday. I don't really have a whole lot else to do because I got almost no energy. I'm not going to make it five levels in the mine. Guarantee you. Not on that. So, let's see if we can't... There we go. That's something. Hmm. Not many people actually like horseradishes. Leah does, but... Leah likes a lot of the stuff that comes out of the foraging. That's kind of her thing. She likes to make salads out of the... So, let's see. Oh, here's some more onions. Full. Yeah. 
he is the only one that, that really likes spring onions. And right now they're more useful to me as a source of uh, endurance, at least until salmon berry season shows up. Once we hit salmon berry season, um, options will open for us. Because really, that's you know we're 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 gonna start rocking up once that happens. Because salmon berries are a very good food source. They are completely worthless to sell. Uh, I think they sell for like five gold each, but they give like twice as much energy and health as basic f spring onions do. It's like twenty-five and ten instead of thirteen and five. So definitely worth your time to do. And uh, let's go ahead and check and see if he, either of these guys, nope, because I'm really wanting some more acorns, because that needs to go down in a hurry, because those need to come up by summer. So put that up, put that up, put those up. That'll be a little bit more money. Put that up. Hmm. Let's do some more clearing. <laughs> and I apologize if I just made you feel old there. He's going to need to go. There we go. We just need some more lumber here. Uh, I'll be honest, lumber is going to be one of our tightest resources that we will have. Um... We are going to need literally thousands, plural, of lumber to uh, to really get what we're wanting to do done. Um, it's kind of one of those things. Also, 189 lumber right now is not the worst in the world, I guess. Um, would really like to have about 300 lumber before the end of the week, though. Don't think that's going to happen. But, let's see how close we can get. We do kind of want to clear out all of this dead wood and stuff. Eventually, there's going to be some production going on down here. It is going to be really important and useful and stuff and things and, you know. Okay, that's definitely going to be it, though, because I don't want to dip too much into my reserve of onions. So that's another, you know, 28. There you go. We're at over 200 lumber. So, kind of productive day. Level 2 farming, as I had mentioned. Um, new crafting recipe, basic sprinkler, completely worthless. Uh... New crafting recipe, mayo machine. That's going to come in handy later when I start getting chickens. 
new crafting recipe stone fence is going to be worthless to us because I really have no interest in making them. Uh, but I do get water and can proficiency and hoe proficiency, so it takes up slightly less energy to do those tasks, which is going to be useful. Got about 1,300 from all those parsnips. Going to need to do more tomorrow. But that's going to call it for this episode. So this is Sneaky the Lost, signing off. <laughs>